Welcome back to part three of drawing a um, medieval castle with SketchUp Online. What I'm going to do now is draw the keep. And I could do it exactly as I did this, but I'm deliberately going to use a couple of other tools and little techniques. So when you watch it, I'd like you to have a go. If you, if you have a lot of trouble with it, try to do it another way. Take one of these, drag it in here, maybe scale it up. Remember, at the end, I want you to, to practice with the software. Okay, I've got my cross here. I think I put that on during the last video. And I'm gonna use the rectangle tool. But you can see the way the rectangle tool draws from a corner to corner. I'm going to change that by pressing control. And that'll make it a rectangle that draws from the center out. And I'll just look at the scale. Uh, probably, probably 12 meters by 12 meters. And then if I wanted to do my offset on here, I don't want to offset the individual squares. So I'm going to get my eraser and I'm going to delete those midpoint lines. I could hide them and do things, but I'll just keep it nice and simple. I'm going to offset, come in my standard wall thickness for this job, 0.3 of a meter. And um, now have a look what I do here. I'm going to go back to my push pull, select that. I'm going to move my camera about, panning, hold down shift, middle button, look at uh, maybe this Helen on there and come and have a look. I'm going to go up, yeah, maybe 12 meters, so a big cube. That's going to be my keep. Now, uh, you could have copied this whole turret into the middle, scaled it. In fact, it's probably a good idea for you to have a crack at that. I could do exactly the same technique where I um, do this. Take that edge, press control, scale it up. I think it was 0.9 and then I went up 0.6. So I could do that multiple times. Little skip in it because the thing I tried just didn't work. Okay. I am going to take maybe a part, a part of that. Now, did you, did I explain if I drag from the left and put a box around things, it'll only select what's in the box. If I drag from the right, it'll select anything the box touches. That's a very uh, useful thing to do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that face, that face, and while I'm at it, I might take a brick. I'm not worried. Picked a few things over there. I'll delete them later. And this time I'm going to go and move it. So I didn't pick the whole thing. Up here. Like that. Because I'm going to show you something. While I'm here, I'm going to get rid of that line. Using the delete key. It's probably a very awkward way I'm doing it here, but I just want to show you the things that we can do. So I duplicated that around there. That gives me, you know, a nice little sort of tapered end or whatever. OK, 
come along here with the red. Keep it on the red. Down there on the blue. Now, I'm going to move. Watch what I do here. Hopefully this will make sense. From this very corner, I'm going to come down on the blue axis. Hold down shift. You can see it's got a thick color. I'm going to bring my pointer over here and click on that edge. Then I'm going to move it along here until it goes red. And you can see that edge there needs to come over here. Now I could do, I could draw that line actually, like that. Get that thing there. Delete those. I want this to go, it's probably um, making your head spin a little bit. So the, uh, well, I pressed the wrong, I have a gaming mouse and it's a bit too many buttons. Okay, this is probably going to stress you out a bit. Okay, so what I've done, if I look over on this side, the, the taper edge doesn't come straight down plumb vertically like that. Okay, so to do what I want to do, I've got to clean that up a little bit. I'm going to show you the follow me tool, which is really useful. Um, good practice, I'll clean this one up too. Just with the pencil tool, I'm going to bring it straight down. I know it's straight down because it's blue. I'm going to come over here and lock it into that edge over here with the green on this one, over here, there you go, I may as well come all the way across, just trying to get in the right view, I think I'm holding down caps lock, that worked because that line doesn't particularly hit but anyway we'll see maybe I have a problem there Okay, this is a very convoluted way I'm doing it, but I'm just, it's a good opportunity to have a practice using the, um, the pencil tool, which is really um, important. I'll put this line in here. Everything looks fine. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring that whole face all the way around here and join it up to that edge. Um, and I get exactly the same angle here as here. I just copied that corner, dragged it up here, duplicated it up here, and then cleaned up the edge. I probably would have been better to come down here in the midpoint and just clean it up and delete this. But, um, you know, 
that's the way it goes. Pick that edge, that edge, that edge, and here. Okay. Now let's do a follow me. We haven't used that yet. It's a good opportunity to do it. No, oh, I have to pick it again. The version of a SketchUp that I've always used doesn't have all the buttons hidden. Uh, I'll just drag it out. There we go. So that worked. Let's do the same for here. I probably could have done it all in one go. Now let's take. Nice. Delete those lines so they don't cause me any drama. That worked because I straightened up the ends, okay? So it's a follow me tool. Brick. It wasn't trying to make it deliberately complicated. Happy for you to have an attempt to do it your own method, but that follow me tool is very, very useful. face while I hold down shift so I just get what I want I should get rid of that line but anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna move from that end hold down control bring it over here and I tried a few before that I cut out um, I think I tried 11 tried 13 I'm gonna divide by 15 Aha, that's the number I want for mine, 15. You're going to play around with a few ideas on yours. Let's do the rotation method. Or maybe, yep, okay. So I'm going to put a face. I'm drawing a square from there to there. I'm going to look. I might delete those later anyway. I think they should go down a bit. I'm going to change my view. Uh huh. Got them selected. I'm going to go to rotate. And do that. Find the center. Uh, now, it doesn't look like the center because these lines are kind of broken up from strange. Well, this one was, was started there and started there, so there'll be a little point that'll cause me problems. But over here should be right. Oh. So in the center, I'm going to bring it out slowly there go 90 three times there we go I'm 
I'm going to get rid of that face. Do a little bit of cleaning up. Oh, we've got a few random bricks over there. Let's get rid of them. Actually, um, sometimes you end up with little elements uh, all over the place. One of the good ways to find that is to click on the zoom extents and it'll show you anything that you know could be, could be in the way and you haven't noticed it. Delete those bricks. I'm going to delete those faces. Maybe there's a few random lines. Clean up as I go. I know there's a lot at the back here because I was lazy. I didn't delete the first one. So now I should really go through and delete those. I'm going to speed this up, okay? I'm going to do it. So I didn't really like that, but that's the way it turned out when I drew it. I like that. So let's do another one. I got the eraser, I deleted those lines. And then I deleted that face. Got some more there that I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of that one. That one. That one. That one. And then I'm going to take my pencil tool and go from this corner here to that corner there. There we go. <clears throat> I have a little bit of editing to do on that video and then we might start adding a hole for the drawbridge, some windows, maybe another little building up here. I did that on the first one. So I don't know what you would call that. A little watchtower. Okay, that is video three and it needs a little bit of editing and I made mistakes as I went along. And then I went back and then I changed it and then I approached a problem differently. That's what I want you to do.